Hello, welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of the Holy Smokes podcast. I'm here with Damien Dizzle, Tyler God, and myself, Malachi. Uh, and this is episode 20. How y'all doing today, bro? Dude, what's up? What's up? Let me what's go up, ahead man? and up, man? get the round of applause in this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. some motherfucking yeah, energy going in this jump. That's a nice, smooth little intro. That's like some NPR shit. You feel me? Like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know, you know so, the old radio stations, uh, yeah. like before these had like oh yeah, TV yeah, yeah, and yeah the the all 40, motherfucking 50s. broadcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd mm-hmm. like to welcome you to today's episode of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was bro. nice. I feel it. Yeah, nice and smooth, bro. How y'all week, it. man, bro? It's been cool, bro. It's pretty been cool, pretty man. chill. Not too much going on. Especially yeah, in this man. news cycle, you know what I mean? This is it's been some stuff, but you know, it's been pretty much a real chill week. Yeah. Everything good in your personal lives, you know what I'm saying? How's Memphis how's how's Memphis been, bro? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. Memphis been bipolar as fuck, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Yeah, you talking about the weather. Yeah. Weather's been crazy, man. Like it's been hot, it's been rainy, it's been storming, like we get yeah, this shit really not making no sense, bro. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, not they, consistent it's, at all. Oh, it was <laughs> raining last night. Oh, like, really? It's summertime? Like, it, it, it was storming for, like, 20 minutes, stop, and then nighttime storm again. Like, it's, it's, I don't know, bro. It's crazy, but other than that, man, personally, I'm straight, you know what I mean? Um, hey, man, on the grind. Yeah, on the grind, man. Getting grind, man. Getting on some, yeah. some stuff, so. I feel like it never it never rains here in Texas, bro. Well, it does, but if it does, it goes back to being like sunny. Even the rain gotta be hot, right? For real, bro. Oh, evaporate before it touches the ground. <laughs> Yesterday it was like one o three, but like the like it's one o three. It was like I I got off of work and then I went to go get chai uh, with some of my coworkers. You went to get what? Chai. It's basically tea. They tea. call tea chai, but you mean chai tea who? It, well, so this is the thing. I got educated yesterday, right? So chai is literally to to translates to tea. So by me saying chai tea, I'm literally saying tea tea. Yeah. You can be real. Yeah. I look at your heart. So it's like, bro, you're being redundant. Just say chai. So, but I went to go get chai. That means like, I'm not in your culture. It's a whole nother thing. Also, just like, like, bro, it's crazy how like, we went to go get tea, and chai tea is hot as fuck. Like, it's stupid hot. Or chai is hot. And then we're having, like, uh, some also some Indian other cuisines, like uh, dosa, which is hot as well, with chutney, which is hot as well. So I'm like, bro, I'm, like, thinking about it. I'm like, bro, it's 103 degrees. It feel like 117, right? I'm in here drinking hot tea with fucking hot food and hot sauce, like chutney. I'm like, bro, like, everything is just hot about this motherfucker, bro. This shit crazy. Like, I, don't uh, know. I feel uncomfortable. Nah, I mean, we were indoors, so it wasn't too bad, but it's like, damn, bro. Like, it's this motherfucking spicy. Hot though. outside, drink hot, hot food. food. Yeah. With hot food. Yeah. But that's like kind of like, I guess, a, a thing. The Triple H, nigga. I kind of, I, I fucks with it, bro. Like, <laughs> If you're having a good day, you know, you go out, you get you get tea with your homies, you know what I'm saying? Go out, have a cup of tea, chat it up for a quick minute, you know, 15, 20 minutes, and go on about your day. If you're having a bad day, same thing, you know, like, go out and get, you know. I, I kind of fucks with it, bro. It's very social. Like, it don't got to be, it's almost like going out to go get drinks, but you're not getting drinks, you know? You're getting something that's, yeah. like, a little bit, you know, just make you feel good on the inside, sure. nice and warm. Sure, and then keep it sure, pushing, bro. Kind of yeah. slow decline to the end of the day. It's not hot tea, is it? My bad. It, it is. It is. But every apparently, all the the different types of uh the different states make their depending on what region of India they're from, uh they make their chai differently. So like northern uh India, since it's colder and more mountainous, more elevated, they have their chai tea is like like hot as fuck. Like it's yeah. it's like stupid hot. Um, but. Southern it's India, obviously, their chai is... The cup. Give it to you. Yeah. 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 No, nah, but you're supposed to drink it hot, too. But some of it uh, is really good for having when you're, like, sick. Um, But, yeah. Been learning a lot of, about uh, this, their culture, bro. 
It's very okay. interesting. I, I fucks with it, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I've always been a CD one. I ain't gonna lie. I got like little joints in the house, you know, the Earl Grey joints. Those are like the, you know, yeah, the regular. If you if you're a tea drinker, you know the Earl Greys. But yeah, uh, yeah. you know, sweet teas. You know, I'm 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 I'm, I'm something of a sweet tea connoisseur. You know what I mean? So you know, <laughs> so what's this face you making, food? Huh? I'm just bored. <laughs> I forget the name, bro, but he looked like uh, Jim Carrey off that one jump, bro. Uh, I know, I know what you're talking about, bro. I still like, I ain't even seen that hoe fool. I'm not gonna lie. I know, yeah, that was a legendary ass movie. Yeah, and you see that hoe. There's gonna be niggas that know. Yeah. This supposed to actually look like this fool, like you know, like folks that you can see their guns, bro, like all the time. Yeah. If he was messing yeah. with a girl and her and her veneers just fell out or like whatever them joints mm. is. The dentures, bro. Hell no. Nah. What would you do? It's embarrassing, bro. I don't even know. Like, do you let her put them joints back in and I don't like, even think I would nah, say anything. She, she's still cute. I mean, she's still everything, you know, it's all still there. It's just she was talking to something, she was doing something and Yeah, I would act like it just didn't happen. Yeah, just I, let her just came out. I, Complete Better. silence as she picks that hoe up and puts it back in her mouth, and then I continue on with the car. Keep it pushing, bro. <laughs> oh shit! Damn. Oh man. We'd have to at least talk about it. We'd be like, I don't, mm -mm. don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I'm probably gonna talk <laughs> like, to you again. Her denture paste is like you ain't telling me you had uh, that going on. Yeah, maybe you need some some new dentures or I don't oh. know. If you're young and you have dentures, I, I assume you, you have some type of some dentures. I, I, I want to, yeah, I don't want the backstory. Yeah, mouthful of dentures, them just fall out. They look like Damien's and they just fall out from over there. Because <laughs> teeth are a big thing for me. I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't mind. Backstory, dog. I don't mind gaps. Like a gap is fine, but if your teeth is too fucked up, like it's low key, like. I'm like, oh, oh no, there's some, I, I've seen some pretty nice looking people with fucked up teeth. You know, I don't know. It just it just depends. Yeah, teeth are I ain't gonna lie, teeth are kind of a thing. But it definitely definitely improves your look though, no matter what. Like if you were even if you were seven and your teeth fucked up, you were if, ten. What, what, if what, what if she a ten but her teeth are like a two? Because if like yeah, then, then like, what? Then she an eight, right? Like, like do math, right? Like yeah, <laughs> yeah, nah, like your nah. like, teeth too. All right. Because if it's the back teeth, it's nah, cool. nah, nah. But if it's that would make her too. I don't know. I don't the know. front teeth are kind of big, bro. You can have fucked up back teeth or even like your side teeth. But if the front teeth is fucked up, it's like ah shit. You gotta get that. It shit just depends how cute they is, bro. With me, I don't know, bro. It is. That's a, that's a that's a tough. And then you gotta think about your kids, bro. Like my kids gonna have them. Like, oh, you can always fix have it. Your teeth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I had braces anyway, so it's like, yeah, no matter what my teeth look like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, that's that's a whole nother. I, I get not everybody has access to like dental and all that stuff, but yeah. like once you get to a point in life where you can you have a job and you have insurance, you can go get braces and shit like bro like yeah. take advantage like why have you not that's that's my main question is like if i see you you got a full-time job and your teeth is like bro why have you not like gotten dentured bro like question. or when's or the braces? last time y'all been to the dentist before i left uh literally right before like probably a I'm week before on, i left i don't even know if it is. yeah I have no clue, bro. Sense. I feel but like, I take, I take good care of my teeth. <laughs> if you take good care of your teeth, like, ain't nothing, you know. Bro, like, you I just... feel like I ain't been since I was a kid. You should get bro. your teeth yeah. cleaned twice a year. Bro. Know, bro. Yeah, bro, that's bro, definitely, definitely the, how they do boy, that. I, I really need, bro, I don't think I, I can't remember. Conversation, bro. I, need, I just need to go get a whole check of everything. Eyes, ears, physical, yeah. teeth, everything. I don't know, bro. Man, bro, you don't need got other things to worry about, bro. No, nah, but your health is your health it's, is important, bro. Your body your is, is definitely important. You know what I'm saying? You can't do nah, that with bad health, like bad, bad health. You feel me? So yeah, and the longer you yeah. wait, the worse it gets. Like you ever seen people that just like like really fucked up teeth and like literally, it's just they they start off like you know I haven't been in a while. But then they start accumulating problems, and maybe they get a root canal. And the longer you wait, the more problems you gonna have when you go in, and it's just gonna be more painful and tedious to get that shit fixed. 
That's what it just feel like, though, man. Like, everything, it's like two people, two industries, the dealership and the doctors. But every time you go, it's something wrong. Like, and they just, it's, it's just like, damn, bro. Okay. Some of us got money. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I think anything wrong. Mm-hmm. I, I, I feel physically fine, but. Ever since like, I saw man, that, I saw this one TikTok. They always shot or something, bro. They always be like, oh, well, you need to get this, 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 this. I saw this one TikTok where they be like, he be like dapping up with the homies. Like, nigga work at a mechanic shop. He be dapping up with the homies when he overcharged like a girl for an oil change. I be like, I knew these niggas was finessing, bro. Right, right. Like, I knew, like, oh, God, like, I fool, like, I'm right, got oil change. Bro. He said one price, and then he ate a ring up. I'm like, bro, this hoe is way more expensive than you said it was. I'm like, all right, I'm just going ahead and swipe that hoe for now. I'm like, y'all niggas, I had a funny feeling. There's a lot feeling. of things with cars that you can just do yourself generally. This, like, Same. it's cheap as hell. And, like, you go yeah. there and it's, like, 200 Yeah, I need just to find that hookup or something. Like, oh, I need to find that hookup, bro. If I can find a nigga, like, hey, I just buy the part, and then I give it to you, and then you do that hoe for me, and I pay you personally. Like, I feel like that's way cheaper than going to, like, the, you know, yeah, um, I know my dad. My dad got the plug since he used to. You know what I'm saying? Car, like having like a car system. plug, like that has come in clutch. Yeah. Shout out cars, Lightning McQueen. I fuck with him. Looking at yeah, it. yeah, bro. Bet one of the best Pixar movies, bro. <laughs> Pixar is goaded. <laughs> yeah, we kind of. <laughs> yeah, we just get into some of these topics. Yeah, right. yeah. No, we just wanted to. You know, what I'm saying we had yeah, to. Yeah. We we can afford to do up, this. It's, you know it's a slow. Saying? A slow week, bro. So you know what I'm saying. We gotta warm y'all up first. Make sure y'all y'all prepared to. Yeah, hey, yo. You know, you know, it's just like a car. You feel me? <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> bro, cars two and three was so trash, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I think I saw. I three. fuck with. I Ooh. fuck with cars two and three, low key. The general mm. Lightning McQueen got washed. And bro. It ain't nothing with one though. And then, he, and then he, well, one is definitely the best. Undisputed for, for sure. sure. But two and three aren't good. bad either, bro. Like, nah. That's two folks and three are secret bad. agents. Folks with secret agent cars, food, or some I shit fuck, like that in the second jump. I fuck with the jump where the Lightning oh. McQueen was like retired. He was thinking about retirement. He got washed by oh, the third jump. Yeah, yeah that's that jump was actually kind of good, bro. Because that's just like yeah. that's like real life, bro. Like eventually, there's gonna be a new young nigga that's gonna outdo you, bro. Like, and it's, it's time to pack it up, nigga. What's the best Pixar movie? Hmm. Incredibles. As well, okay. We, we yep. on the same page. Bruh, like Incredibles is go- like the first Incredibles, bruh. Yeah. That is time that's a timeless movie. That is a timeless I movie. Anything better than Incredibles. I've watched that movie so many times, bro. Like I would say. Man, bro. I'm not mad it's, at it's that. Finding Nemo Pixar and Finding Nemo Pixar is between Finding Nemo and Incredibles. Hmm. Is Toy Story Pixar? Yeah. yeah. Toy Story is Pixar. You think Nemo is better than Toy Story? Yep, I love finding Nemo, bro. That's a tough one. That's actually really tough. I can't put finding Nemo over the first Toy Story. I love finding Nemo, bro. I kind of fuck with monsters. I maybe got finding Nemo fatigue because at the little after school program I was at, they used to wear that gen out, bro. Like after Mm -hmm. every time, bro, they put on a movie. Bro, finding Nemo. Finding Nemo, who? That was so like it's just such a heartwarming story bro like you know, finding his son you know he'd be some and crazy girl on the way bugs life is pixar too i fuck with bugs life bro I'm not yeah bugs wrong. life that's the og life that's the og one, bro, that got wore out for me bro I fuck with bugs that's the og life, yeah that's like the og bro shout out pixar bro pixar y'all niggas keep doing y'all thing bro keep doing y'all thing but what should we get in the first, bro? Should we get into the uh <laughs> yo, what is this? <laughs> this shit is <laughs> yeah, whoever uh put this first topic on here, I got a AO for y'all, bro. Hey, yo. Yelling me. I mean, it, it's not like I came up with it, bro. It's like apparently. They have no so is oh okay, Elon viewers. Musk <laughs> challenges Mark Zuckerberg to a dick measuring contest. I mean, it is. It's right there. I don't know how it's. I mean, it's all right there in the headline. Like, I just don't understand. I mean, like they really hate each other, don't they? Yeah, like I mean, I guess. I guess you really gotta hate. Like, do they really not like each other? Because they finna buy. I mean, okay. I hear. I hear is because like 
Zuckerberg, he obviously owns like Meta and like Facebook, and he he made like a a direct Twitter competitor, right? The new Threads shit, and like mm-hmm. maybe you know maybe Elon on tilt because of that. He like you think you gonna take over Twitter, nigga? Like when I just bought this shit for nah, I like feel like this has been going on before that though. Yeah, it's been going on for a minute. I mean, yeah, 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 before that, but I feel like this, you know, is really ramping up now, right? Yeah, they. I mean, now it's just there's yeah, a lot of publicity. trained by like legit UFC folks. Like that should be live though. Like that should actually happen. Yeah, that should fight mean, still, bro. The fight, but now it's like, bro, like we gonna fight, we gonna measure our dicks and see who got the bigger dick too, bro. Like what's going on, bro? Like, I mean, I feel like y'all can't hate that each other that much if you want to. <laughs> like, first of all, bro. How do you even big pause on this whole topic? <laughs> but how do you even have how do you conduct a dick measuring competition? Do you have like a lady like measure your shit and then measure his shit separately and then come out and give the results? Or do y'all just like <laughs> stand shoulder to shoulder? That's just so crazy. That is crazy. Nah, I imagine you definitely gotta have like a female ref, like you know, or a moderator or you know, you know in the speaking of that, bro, there was this one uh, Jubilee video, bro. And this is so crazy. They literally had, they had the niggas, it's like the most AO pause video ever. But apparently they had uh, the guys, like, basically they had a dick measuring contest. They had the niggas, like, rank each other, like, based off of, like, what they, who thought they had the biggest dick. And then they had a lady like measure everybody's shit on soft and on hard. And then they like put them in ranks <laughs> on like oh, soft man. rank and hard rank. That shit was the biggest pause ever, bro. But that shit was so weird. Yeah, like, first of all, video pause. Right. It's like, bro, how did, if they told me this is what we doing, bro, I'm, I'm out that hoe. I'm like, there's no oh, females man. in this hoe. I'm leaving, nigga. The fuck? Like, <laughs> it's crazy. As you believe be coming up with like the most. That's they could be weird, too. like scenarios. Yeah. They, yeah. they, they're the people that do the button. You know the the show with the uh the button where niggas be hitting that gent when they want to get people out, or they'll they'll have people like on a speed date and then like they'll ask them questions. The button will light up. Whoever hits the oh, button yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, I, I've yeah. Seen that, yeah, yeah. They they have. I all think the those funniest Julie one was probably the IQ one. That one was funny as hell. And they that all took the IQ test. I think that was Julie. There was one button video I saw, bro, with the nigga, like, it was, I think, niggas was calling him corny, bro, and it might have been corny, but that was funny, bro, like, he was asking, basically, the chick was talking to, like, you know, I like to cook, I like to do this, and then, basically, bro, it's just like, bro, I'm just trying to fuck, like, what's up, and, like, she's like, damn, you're not gonna get to know me first, like, blah, 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 and then, like, the nigga literally got up at the chair, ran back, <laughs> And then dived into the button and smacked that. <laughs> that was so funny, bro. I was like, bro. I'm not going to lie. She held that for that long. She did not want to press the hell. That's crazy. Yeah, oh, I've seen the, a clip in the gym. Funny. This is probably the funniest clip I've seen from something like that. And he was like, um, we were asking each other questions. He was like, let me get a hug. And she's like, oh, know. that's the one when they had the blindfolds on. They yeah, couldn't yeah, see yeah. each other. They couldn't see each other. And then man hugged her. He was wide. <laughs> he was like, he was the brain. He was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> that nigga was on the tech, bro. Because That's crazy. That's they smart. thought they they know that people are gonna hit it if they're not a, attracted to the person they're talking to. Because people, you can have mesh really well with somebody's personality, but just not like their physical appearance. But they thought they was doing something. They thought they was cooking, putting the blindfold on. My nigga found the tech. He's like, all right, I'm gonna just. Finesse my way into getting a hug from all the chicks. And if I feel they feeling a little big, I'm going to hit that hug next time I come out. No, I may have to take, though. No, that was smart for sure. Let me check them out. Yeah. No, they got a bunch of shit, bro. They be entertaining, man. So I'm not going to ask the obvious question here. Mm -hmm. Because it's a big (laughs) (laughs) AO. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, King. I'm not going to do it. It's a big AO. What's the obvious question? Hey, COE, bro. Content over everything, bro. I mean, Content over everything. Who, who y'all got, man? Like, oh, in the, the dick measuring competition? <laughs> looking at What? Looking at I don't at. know, bro. 
That's actually is it's an AO, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no no comment. You know what I'm saying? Mm. No comment. I'm just, you know. You just gotta say content over everything. <laughs> if it's content over everything, nigga. How about you that? say who you got and then we say who we got. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can get to the next one. Look at that. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah. next topic. A, a former everybody on this pod, you know, if you guys do not know, well, not minus Guillermo, he's not here today. Um, we forgot to mention my nigga, bro. Shout out Guillermo, bro. Shout out Guillermo. Oh, yeah. And yeah, shout out to his, him and his bad. girl's anniversary. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That shit is is hard to love right here, friend. bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm jealous as hell. But um. All of us on this pod are former Amazon employees, and uh, we're not going to say what went down in the warehouse, what we used to get away with, what we may or may not, you know, all this is, you know, alleged stuff. But anyway, a former Amazon employee, that's not us, uh, got caught stealing almost $10 million worth of product from the Amazon warehouse. That is wild. How do y'all feel about that? I feel like we all have, uh, you know... Um, is, my, my thing man. is just like how food. I want to know is you know how like yo but, but like, how, bro? over man, what ten million ten million over what time span like do you bro, acquire ten million dollars worth of product? I think I think that we all wild. we all 10 know million. Ten mil is a lot, right? But like we all know, you can. It's probably over a course of like some months or maybe even years. Years, know? I say years for sure. Yeah, and then it's like if you do do that, how? Why are you still working at Amazon, fool? Like you require yeah, oh, huh? you got the first mil. Like I'm so con- I'm I'm so confused, bro. Like even even if you know you're you're out here, you know what I'm saying, spending your money. It's like, bro, you should at least like ten million dollars worth. Like that, huh? Where did that you go? Know, I think is I think what it was, bro. I think at one point they just got greedy. Cause you know when sometimes when people oh, steal yeah. shit, when you start like I in think the, oh, yeah. for having when you had like a Lambo or some shit. Oh yeah, see. Yeah, see yeah. I, wait, hold on. You got a what? You work where? Hold on, what's your position? Hold on. Look at that. Just looking in the shit. Yeah. Cause I mean, once you steal so much shit, bro, I feel like you're not even stealing to like come up anymore. You're stealing off the adrenaline rush that you get. Like, oh yeah, from successfully stealing that junk. Like, I'm never gonna get caught. Yeah, rubbing their hands together like Birdman. <laughs> Next thing you know, because eventually ten million dollars in operation manager. That that makes a lot Ooh. of sense. The managers, Ooh. let's be honest, bro. It, the easiest the position, management. the easiest positions at Amazon. To Nobody can tell him no. Is AFM? Hey, let me see that. I gotta scan it in for the yeah. Look right. Right. Here. Look so at that. She was right. having, um. She was. Yeah. One. One second. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's all good, bro. It's all good. Um. Um. Damn. Man, whole thought process thrown out. Hi, uh, nigga. What happened? <laughs> what <is that? laughs> you right, gonna no, tell I... us something? <laughs> no. I... I, 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 I but um, but yeah, it's like, bro, like she just took an L, bro. Like I don't know if that if I was in her shoes and that was me, I would have been gone after like mill number one. Oh God! Like after that, boom! Like I'm out that whole dog. So Are you quitting? Like what's going on? Oh yeah, I'm just you know, I'm done. You know, I just got other looking at make excuses and shit. But yeah, it was, apparently it was her and six other folks. Ah, uh, like, ooh, like, that was an operation. Her. Yeah. She was having the people under her put fake vendor information into the system. Ooh. Oh, so they next nice. level with it. <laughs> God, hey, that is. Loki, I got a little bit more. Look, I got a little bit more respect for her, bruh. Because. Mm. That okay. And you I saw all them niggas eating, huh? Ten million dollars. Yeah, she probably got six million, and she gave it up, you know a mill a piece to all the other folks. Hey, bro. You know, yeah. I mean, it is. I mean, it's all Amazon workers. Anybody that knows what that is, been in that environment. Oh yeah, That's and crazy. prayers. If you listen into this pod from Amazon, prayers to you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. this podcast are... for y'all, man. You know right, what I'm you know they be some some 
some real lame folks around there trying to pull your earbuds out. Right. Trying to tell you you can't <laughs> sit down, fool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to tell you, oh, you always in the bathroom. Oh, your count your time, low. Your time off task is too high. I know they talking about that TLT. <laughs> right. And they love talking about that shit. We know they try and tell you, bro, the, the the little five minute walk it take to get to the break room is part of your break time. So right, you better plan but that bullshit. Come on, bro. Right. No. God understand. damn, bro. That's some fucking. I'll never forget the Amazon days, bro. That shit is just so ass. Yeah, that shit was dog Shout out shit. Shout to the amnesty workers, bro. We know, we know when the machines shut down, fool, and everything backed up. And folks don't come to work and they clock out early, bro. And you got floors, floors by yourself, bro. Yeah. Floor health at twenty percent, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> floor health at twenty percent. <laughs> floor health at twenty percent, nigga. It's All the shit look red. All right, we hella jams. Food, like people are always talking about your path, fool. Your path good, and then they tell you you too far from <laughs> <laughs> you too far from your path. Get back from your path, bro. Come on, bro. Niggas don't know my path was not with Amazon, nigga. We out that motherfucker, nigga. We understand, but that's never crazy. again, poo. But apparently, the base pay for operations manager is seventy nine k, bro. Yeah. I believe that it's pretty good. Oh wow! But I get shit. He probably got greedy. Hmm. <laughs> he was making he salary on top of that. God damn. Hell no. Nah. His salary and his belongings are matching up. You gotta <laughs> right. right. You know, it's... Well, I'll, I'll tell y'all guys uh, another story, because it's kind of... Uh, a, a, a friend of mine told me this, a story. Um, but just know that there's the... Uh, I'll tell y'all later. It's it's not mm. a story for the pod, bro. It, it's my... All right. Content over everything. Yeah. No, All no, right. nigga, no, nigga. Well, essentially, okay, I'll I'll say this. Um, any names or it's, there's no names because I don't even know the people associated with this but the person that was telling me the story right was telling me that they have a friend like a close friend and they are basically uh you know the <laughs> why is he making that face bro I can't dude Damien <laughs> this is good ugly like but <laughs> but essentially this nigga does a lot of the app development for uh like the you know, the offshore crypto casinos and shit. Mm. Um, and the mm. niggas is breaking in, that's doing all that shit, is breaking in a lot of fucking money, you know, like mm. for stake and all these other big companies. But a lot of that money is dealt in like cash and whatnot. So like basically it's not, th- there's basically a lot of uh, brown bag deals, you know what I'm saying? Like here's this money and you know, we're not we under the table money, you know, type shit. Mm-hmm. So you tell me that, you know, untaxed, you say. Yeah, one of his friends is like, bro, like he'll be riding around like with like maybe seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars with the cash in his trunk, bro. Like, damn, and just paranoid as fuck. Like, you know, police behind him because you know you can't just like deposit eight hundred thousand dollars into your bank bank account, bro. Like. Yeah, they're that that gonna red flag. Where that you get that going, from? Yeah. Right. It's just going, all of it screams to illegal activity, you know? Yeah. So, I don't know, bro. I'm like, damn, like, niggas is really living some crazy lives yeah, out you here. You gotta bro. put that shit on your bed, I guess. I guess, bro. Shit. I don't know. But yeah, I always used to wonder who, like, these type of niggas were, bro. But, yeah. It's crazy. I don't know. Life crazy, bro. Niggas is out here, there's so many. Life is. You know, when you live inside your own little bubble, you really forget all the different types of niggas that just be out here. And, like, you really just be walking by, by niggas. And for all you know, this nigga could literally, you driving by somebody, this nigga could have, like, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars $800,000 in the trunk making a run right now, nigga. Like, right. <laughs> shit crazy, bro. Yep. But anyway, bro, y'all, uh, Shit, it's funny because I know Damien don't have any clue who this next nigga is, bro. But I saw the clip of this nigga, bro. <laughs> the grooving gorilla nigga, bro. The big buff nigga that be dancing with the food eating. Man got attacked during the skit, bro. By another buff ass swole ass nigga, bro. What? Yes, bro. Man was doing his little dance, eating his little food. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> doing his dance, eating food. What? Nigga came up and booted that hoe out his motherfucking hand, bro. 
And I can't tell if that was a skit in itself. Or, <laughs> or, like, bro, or if it was real, bro. bro. Because bro was really on him, bro. Like, Ruby Gorilla. I don't know. Grooving Gorilla. I don't know. Call him that grooving gorilla. That's I think it's just because he a big ass nigga, bro. And he just gorilla. Come on, bro. He be dancing, bro. He be he be black for a nigga to be that. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Paw, big pause, but like for a nigga to be that swole and be moving like that is like it kind of be blowing my mind, bro. Like, nah, <laughs> like, bro. How do your body move like that? And you, oh, like, <laughs> I, I seen this nigga. He was, yeah, he bro. was on the uh, yeah, he was on that shit you showed us. No, no, Funny Marco. I'm talking about. Oh yeah, Funny Marco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that Funny Marco interview. Remember, yeah, he nigga. was like, um, he was Marco. Why is like, this nigga punch, like? Show him if he could fight or something. So now they got to clip <laughs> yeah. him like throwing punches in there. Like, damn, bro, you should have did that. Yeah, yeah no. That. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's like, funny, bro. But why these niggas clothes so tight, fool? <laughs> like, why is his pants like? Oh, um, this nigga weird, dude. Like, you know. He's weird. Like, bro, watch yeah. the funny Marco interview with him if you haven't, bro. That gen is Man, crazy. you showed us it one time. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. But viewers, if you haven't seen it, check out the funny Marco uh, Groovin' Gorilla interview. That shit was comedy gold. Marco was slick like roasting him the whole time, bro. <laughs> right. Like, He's like, do that punch again? <laughs> and he did it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, you real quick. <laughs> All right, I ain't trying to get in no fight with you. Right. right. But um, this next topic, I I think Malachi might be. Oh yeah, yeah. This. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> Dwight Howard um caught some flat in this video of him pushing like his kid like really hard in the gym, mm. and um seemed like the kid might have been crying a bit, but people were um you know. Kind of yeah, Dwight for sure. some of that behavior, man, and you know Malachi is our resident, you know, buff gym goer. <laughs> but you are you are a yeah. resident father too, so you have you you know you might be able to. But I don't have a kid, right? But I do go to the gym, and I imagine when I do have a son or a daughter, you know, I will ex- probably be a part of their first gym experience. But you know, I feel like it's important. His kid is not like super. Well, how old is this kid? Probably like eight. He looks like he's like know. eight, yeah, eight, nine, or like ten. I would mm. say. Yeah, like ten. Around ten. Yeah. Um. He, so he's not older, a. I don't know. A little, a little older, a little younger. Who knows? Like, yeah, he's not a baby. That's the yeah, point. He's but not I, a baby. I think it's important to teach your kids not to give up, bro. Like when shit gets like difficult, and teach them how to push through shit. So all these niggas on the internet talking about, oh, you pushing him, he crying. You need to let him stop. Like, bro, that's probably why a lot of y'all niggas have never amounted to nothing, bro. Like, because <laughs> every time shit di- get difficult, y'all niggas quit. Like, <laughs> bro, like, life is, is full of trials and tribulations. And just because you experiencing a little bit of... And he's like, the clip, he's riding a bike, right? He's not like he's lifting a crazy amount of weight. Or, like, it's literally just cardio. Most of it's just cardio. And he's like, Dad, I can't do it. He's crying. And he's just telling him, like, push through. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then afterwards, like, the nigga looked straight. Like, he wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, anything traumatizing or anything for him. It's just, like, bro, like, there's going to be times in life where you're going to want to quit and give up. Like, nigga, like. So, I think it's important to persevere. Right. You, you know? got to. You got to have. You got to teach that to your, you know, to your kin, bro. Like, you got to be able to be tough and push through things, you know. Shit's going to get difficult, you know. What do you think as a as a father, Ty? What do you think? Because you actually have a kid, so I agree with y'all. Like you know, what I mean, like he's probably never like been in the gym like that before. You know what I mean, or like you know, been in that type of environment. Lifting weights is hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, it I is. I don't like lifting weights. You know what I'm saying? I like Chitty's I like the hard, feeling man. I have after I do it. But I right. don't like doing it the, in the, the moment, bro. Like, like it's, just, yeah. it's just like, ah. It's but, like, it feel like I'm, I don't know, bro. It's just not something, I just don't like being on. Un- you hurting like, yourself, like fool. Like, like, it's yeah. like, bro, this shit hurt, fool. Like, well, I gotta do yeah, this. Man, it's just, like I said, I love the feeling I have afterward. I like being sore, you know what I'm saying? I like that, you know, 
muscle tightness. You just yeah. kind of jack for a little moment, then the joint kind of, you know, I like all that. But it's just lifting weights is hard, bro. And like being in the gym is hard. And if you're young and you're training or you're trying to be an athlete or, you know, you just want to be like your pops, I guess, you know, that's part of it, bro. You can't quit when it gets uncomfortable. You got to. You got to push through, you persevere. You got to do it, bro. And, like, <laughs> your legs and gonna be tore up. Your muscles and your arms gonna be tore up. Everything gonna be tore up. But you know what I'm saying? It's, you got you got to deal with that. So I think him pushing his son to, um, you know, just keep going. I don't think that's anything to like be mad at it or anything. Yeah, bro. Like that. And I like your little girl, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. But even so, maybe, like, e- even if like, to a man who. Let, let's you know change it well, not even change it but if you change the gender and make it like a i want i want to make sure that you know if i have a daughter she's the same way bro like don't nah, bro, don't nah, quit bro nah yeah. bro, i can't when i mean i i you, i could teach her that in another way I don't, i'm not gonna work her ass in the motherfucking gym like you know what i'm saying it's a daughter dog you know you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, if, but yeah, there's probably daughter, another way. Like, if she, like, really wanted to be, like, an athlete or something. Like, she loved basketball. She loved soccer. Yeah, she, she loved, wanted it, for she, sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And she wanted it. Or whatever it is, you know? Whether it be dancing, ballet, whatever, you know? Like, you just got... I think it's just important to teach kids. You're not leaving that piano till you finish that motherfucking song. Yeah. Look at that. You gotta finish <laughs> like, when you start, like, bro. Food, like, I'm not gonna do that to my daughter. I can't, like, nah. That's I a, do it to my son. But, and that's the thing, bro, like, I feel like a lot of kids, too, bro, like, I think it's important. My mom always taught me, right, uh, to finish what you start, bro. Like, if you say you want to play baseball, and then after the first practice, you're like, I don't like this shit. Like, nigga, you playing baseball for the rest of the season. Like, nigga, you're going to finish what you start, bro. Like, even if you don't like it, or say, you know, you buy guitar lessons or whatever, and it's like, I don't like it. I'm bored. Like, you know, a lot of parents would just, like, take them out of it, like, immediately, you know? And I feel like instilling that, yeah. like, start something and quit mentality into a kid is just a bad look, you know? Like, it's preparing them. It's psychologically telling them, hey, you can quit at any time, at any given time, you know, if you mm-hmm. don't, like... And sometimes you, you know, you need to right. push through, bro. Persevere. Like, finish it what you start, bro, oh. you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> shout out quick shout out to Kyrie. You know, new shoe deal with um brand Anta. Um, I'm excited to see what they do as far as um, you know, kicks because Kyrie, you know, not yeah, only Kyrie's Kyrie has bro. one of the most popular shoes. Like they hard too. You know what yeah. I mean? Like so. I'm excited to see what he got um, with that after the infamous uh, Nike uh, podcast right now, debacle. Like you know yeah. what I'm mean? saying? Mm-hmm. But um, oh, another quick shout out, Jamie Foxx. Um, he was seen outside but, um, in like a parade or something like that. Did you see that? Yeah, I did see that. That he's like, uh, yeah, it looks like he's in good health. Like he's, you know, he look, he looked good, bro. Yeah, he looked good, you know what I mean? So, apparently all that deathbed talk might have been <laughs> out of proportion. <laughs> right. I think they were definitely putting, like, a little extra sauce on that motherfucker, yeah. bro. But, um, yeah, shout out to him. Uh, LeBron, he spoke on some retirement, um, you know, things right. he spoke on after the season, after the Lakers were eliminated. In the conference finals, Western Conference Finals, um, he said he uh, was thinking about retiring. Kind of put that in the air, but it was at the ESPYS, I believe. Right? I don't really watch the ESPYS. Mm-hmm. Cause like, what's real about the ESPYS, bro? Like, you get awarded the ESPYS, but like, what that mean? Like, yeah, it, it don't mean nothing. ESPY award, nigga. That's a like a a paperweight, it's like nigga. An acknowledgement, like of what. Being good in, I don't know. I don't get. Maybe, yeah. uh, maybe I'm out the loop. Somebody fill me in on the S. But um, yeah. LeBron basically went up there and said um, he's not retiring, which I knew he wasn't. Right. You know what I mean, uh, there's just no way. He wants to yeah. play with his kids, so. I yeah. guess it's he just is like, getting old though. He's getting up there. Oh, yeah, he's getting you know up there, saying? but but like he said in his speech, bro, he gonna keep playing until you know he's. 
he until he can't give it a hundred percent the way he wants to give it anymore, he's gonna keep playing. And I think that goes back to the even the topic, like not quitting, bro. You know, like he gonna keep doing this shit until he physically can't give a hundred percent the way he want to like do that shit anymore. And I, I honestly, I'm dead, nigga. <laughs> it's, it's not <laughs> that, nigga. But I understand. That's that's the you know the exaggeration extreme. Like I'm gonna be doing this shit forever, nigga. But you know he gonna do it until his body doesn't allow him to be LeBron no more. You know. Yeah, and it look like it's gonna be anytime soon. Right, <laughs> if it, it, shit, he might be playing until he's so fucking yeah, sixty yeah. years old or seventy years old, nigga. Who knows? Yeah, shit, yeah. He might seventy be the- year old LeBron dunking on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. That'd be wild, bro. But yeah, no, 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 yeah. no seventy for sure. Not I'll- seventy, probably like, probably like upper forties, I think. Yeah, I can definitely see. There's gonna be a time in LeBron's life where he, you know, he's not going to want to give. A hundred percent to the game anymore, you know. Like I'm sure when both his sons get into the league, and you know, because eventually, you know, you gotta you gotta retire, bro. You know that basketball and football are super heavy on your body. Super where you're on God. Yeah, on your joints, your knees, your back, all that fucking explosive movement and jumping and coming down like that's <laughs> nigga. Yeah. That explosive I, movement be exploding they joints, goddammit. Bro, I was in the gym, uh, like, just at the basketball shooting around, bro. Like, cause I haven't played basketball in a minute. But I remember I jumped up and grabbed the rim and, like, came down on my knees. I'm like, damn, like, <laughs> this shit real deal, like, hurt. Like, this shit don't yeah, feel the same, that nigga. That shit on a regular. That shit, yeah, as a kid, that shit didn't do nothing, bro. Like, but now, like, you, I'm fucking, what, 27 going on 28? My knees felt that now, bro. I can imagine being an NBA player doing that shit, like, every fucking day, nigga. Like, <laughs> shit is wild, bro. Yeah. Shout out, Brian, for sure. Shout out, Brian. Oh, oh, Brian. The go. Um... Y'all want to touch that island boys? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we, yeah. I think we yeah, might we have enough. Island boys. <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> that yeah, might be a little. Know. Yo, yeah, we we um, had a little bit too much uh, zest in the podcast, but oh nah. Let's, do we give them their relevance? But they last a little. We do, do we acknowledge they a little bit? Last, are they re- relevant? Because I feel like this is literally they they cash out, bro. Like, all right, we can't get nobody attention doing anything else. Turn on the camera, like. <laughs> Can I, but like, what's up with the one bro that was like trying to keep going, like after? Yeah, you know I mean? like, yeah, I don't know, bro. They just been on some weird shit, bro. Six nine been on some weird shit. Fucking Island Boys been on some weird shit. They brothers, bro. That's the they call them the incest boys. Are you talking about they doing that gay ass shit, bro? Yes. Oh bro. my god, fool! I remember I saw that shit. I just, I literally looked at that hoe and just like scroll past it. I was like, <laughs> I'm not even finna. <laughs> right. I was <laughs> not even worth my time. Like, is there a niggas trying to get do anything for attention now? So you said you seen the full video. I didn't even know they that the main double back tie. You, you watched the full video of them making out, bro. Um, oh, it was, it was super quick, bro. Like, it was like a five-second video, bro. You watched all like, five seconds? <laughs> Come on, nigga, this is wild. You must be a little curious, I, just, I didn't know what I was looking at. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, they hit the double, like, the incest plus yeah, gay. Bro, just tried to keep like, going, bro. Like, That's wild. Yeah, turn his head, bro. Why do they, like, like, the gay incest fool? That's too extreme, bro. Yeah, All right, for them you. niggas, them niggas cashing out, bro. They trying to, yeah, they trying to, trying yeah. to do anything for relevancy. That's wild, bro. Yeah, it's safe to say that they internet relevance is coming to an end. But, um, hey, y'all seen those pictures uh, of the Deadpool Wolverine movie, bro? Mm-hmm. I didn't see that. You ain't seen the pics yet? Hell no. no. Hell no, bro. Wolverine in his um, classic costume, the yellow. Yeah. Thing. Oh shit. And it look good. I did not see that. They got pics of them walking, fighting. Um, I guess it's like a fight scene outside or some shit. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Ooh. The only Ooh. thing, the only thing I comment I have, they the pictures do look cool, but I will say that Hugh Jackman's age is definitely starting to kind of show, bro. As yeah. and that's a and see, okay, you have that point, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, I, that's that's, great... that's my only comment. That's my I know, only comment. I know, I know, I know. But that's the crazy thing about the Wolverine character is that. Like he an old character for real. He really an old man. He not young for real. Like he really yeah, you're right. over a hundred years old. And then there's an old man Logan version right. of Wolverine. So it's like he can't he always age old. into, you know what I'm saying, old man. Nigga, nigga been old since he came out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just like it's perfect, bro. Like it's he slick can't age age out of it. Like but it is supposed to be like multiple versions of Wolverine in the movie. Um, I don't know if y'all watched the the um what's it called the Doctor Strange two movie. Multi- yeah, the, the universe the multi. Yeah, that one was great. Yeah, I yeah, fucked with that. They're saying job. you remember one that had went into like the other Earth and had murked like the entire like yeah like, they had yeah they saying yeah. like this the Wolverine from that Earth. Oh, okay. And Deadpool ends up in that universe, and they end up fighting. Yeah, they finally him. mixing the MCU. Yeah, this shit nice. Yeah, so it's supposed to be like their take on the whole Deadpool kills Marvel type comic run or whatever. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that just should be fine. But, unfortunately, that jump was put on hold because of the writers and actors strike going on in Hollywood. Oh yeah, mm, that's, yeah. that's, that's a big nobody's deal. Nobody's working. Like, that's a why? big deal. Why? Why? What's the? What is the reason for it? For the strike. Yeah. Because the writers and a lot of actors aren't being paid a fair wage in comparison to what's being made on the product type shit. So. Yeah. So Nigga. Of, the writers went on strike, which they they have the right. The writers should go on strike. Cause like, bro, without the writers, the right. I'm gonna say the right, but y'all niggas still get paid bands. Y'all shut y'all legs nah, up. But, nah, nah, compared yeah, to, nah. Compared to compared to the amount of money that these niggas is raking in for the movies, the writers just getting oh. paid nothing, bro. Oh, like, the writer. Yeah, the writer. I think the writers deserve it. Man, you get, man, the writers are like, man, get your ass on, man. Get paid all this money to make these movies for you. Like you doing better than. Better than eighty percent of American nigga, man. Probably more than that. Let me look up the set that shit up, bro. The salary of an average Hollywood writer, bro. Yeah, because I don't writer, know. The writer, the writer. I feel like the writer definitely deserves more like money because K or some shit. Like yeah, like bro, yeah, that's, the writer I, definitely nigga, deserves more money. I would go be a teacher before I'd be a writer in Hollywood. Hollywood. The actor fool. Yeah, in California, bro. If you living in Hollywood or California making fifty k, bro, you basically broke. Like you dirt broke. <laughs> like yeah, that's that's slick trifling. And not every actor is making like you know what I'm saying millions. Yeah, and, and, and that's why a lot of the actors went on strike because they're like, bro, like the actors basically went on strike after them. Like, hey, like because originally, you know. The Hollywood is just like, you know, a lot of uh, artificial intelligence, you know, AI is kind of going crazy. And, you know, Hollywood is essentially like, bro, we can replace y'all. We got AI. We got all types of shit. So we're not going to pay y'all niggas. So then the actors jumped in like, nah, like the actors are went on strike too. Like, bro, like we're not replaceable. So we're going to go on strike. Since you think you can replace these niggas, pay these niggas what they deserve. Or else we won't be starring in any movies. I kind of fuck with that, bro. Like, because yeah. there's a lot of AI AI news. We don't have it in uh, any on this topic, but there's a lot. AI is kind of looking scary, bro. And if some laws aren't developed within the next ten years to like really like get a wraps of this new technology and development, uh, it, we might be living in some some crazy times, bro. Cause yeah. Yeah, there there needs to be some laws and regulations against this AI technology, bro. Because it's, it's everybody gonna be obsolete in the next ten to fifteen years, you know. That's a revolution. So this is, um, that's the way it's supposed you know, to go, bro. The good thing is hopefully they get what they deserve. Yeah. The bad thing for us is 
Basically, we ain't getting shit. Things on hold. We ain't getting nothing. <laughs> right. No movies, no new shows, no new nothing. Nigga. Right. So, I mean, I hope you got some joints you've been meaning to binge watch because uh, it's it, it might be a sec. Yeah. But it's not my fault then with my money for sure. Um, you know what I'm saying? I just care about the product. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There ain't gonna be no product. <laughs> yeah. Because you know they care about yeah. the money and cutting costs, bro. Because I think that's literally. That's probably their whole ideal, you know. And it's it's funny because this is the problem with like Hollywood writers. But f- eventually, you know, there's a uh, there's another story, right? You know, uh, uh, you guys are familiar with background actors, people who act in the backgrounds of sets. Yeah. So yeah. you know, they get paid around like two hundred dollars a day to do, depending on what you're doing in the movie. Um, you know, you get paid more or less, but let's just say, you know, you get paid $200 a day to be a background character in a fucking whatever. They are now, like, using artificial intelligence Mm -hmm. to basically, like, map their face and their likeness. So they'll give you a contract, like, hey, we'll give you $300 so we can use your likeness in a movie. And you don't even make that $200 a day anymore. You just get paid once. And, get paid and they get to use they get to use you in every fucking movie to the end of fucking time. Like that's crazy. So they're maximizing their profits. So that, and that's why I'm saying like there needs to be laws and regulations around this technology, bro, because like the shit is like really about to affect a lot of know, people's man. living. Yeah, bro. That, yeah that, that's a valid. But it's like whose fault was it for not reading the contract, bro? I mean, well, that, well, it's not even like the contract, you know, people are going to do what they want to do for money. You know, there's people out here doing, you know, case studies or what's, what's the, the medical studies anyway. for doctors and stuff. I forget. But anyway, it's it's just, uh, I don't know, bro. It, AI is just looking and, you know, even that likeness thing is very interesting because there's a similar thing in music with, you know, people using AI voices and you know, and people's likeness to their voice in music so they can continue to generate songs after you die. Like, there needs to be laws and all this stuff, regulations put into place to for all these scenarios. Because if not, you know, these multi-million dollar fucking labels and production studios is just going to abuse that shit. Exploit. Yeah. yeah. And start cutting cutting employees, cutting people's jobs, you know? No, we, we don't need you anymore. Right. Like, and that's where, it, you know, if AI is just going to start replacing everybody's fucking jobs, we already in a recession. Niggas is losing their jobs. Niggas ain't putting money back into the economy. Like, that's just going to cause more problems, you know? Yeah. Niggas already aren't, you know, we already in the middle of a fucking recession right now, you know? Imagine if, you know, we never recover from a recession because nobody has a fucking job because AI is doing all the jobs. You know, nobody's putting any money back into the economy. So they're just going to have to keep fucking you know, it's just going, it's just going to cause more and more problems, bro. But right now, you know, niggas at fucking the government don't even, Supreme Court and Congress don't even know how fucking social media work, let alone AI. Yeah. Like, Both old as hell. Right. Um, what's up with Elon, man? We can get into this next Elon yeah, what do you do this time? Get a better segue at the beginning, you know. Yeah, I gotta. What do you do this time? No, you you're good, bro. So basically, former Twitter employees are trying to sue Elon for uh, promise severance packages that they never received. So, Ooh, what a, um, what a scumbag, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know yeah, how that bro. works, bro. Because if the severance package is written in the contract, which most of the times they are, you know, like. I don't know how you just don't give a nigga their severance package, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> how do you not, how do you get away with that? Those severance packages, bro, just put those on hold. Don't send those out yet. Right. Like, you nah. can't do that. We need that for something. That'd be hot. Yeah. That's a nigga, you unemployed and you, you was promised you was going to get four to five months of your salary after, you know, and you not getting that hoe because, shit, you know. I have a homie that was getting that, you know, severance package. That man was living his best life, you know. It's like mm-hmm. you you getting paid your your fucking IT salary and you get five months to basically chill and find a new job, you know, if you ain't already got one lined up. And if you had Twitter, you know, I'm sure Meta was reaching out to your ass like, hey, we got this new app called Threads. We, we, we're trying to use all that Twitter knowledge you got. 
Bro, that's that's literally what happened, bro. Y'all, y'all be fucking with friends. Yeah, that is crazy that they hire like all the like Twitter niggas to come work over at Thread. Yeah, but um, but y'all is y'all on that app? Like, yeah, I'm, I kind of I haven't been on it as much, but I'm I've been on it. I've been tuning in, and I still think they just need a way to curate the content, bro. Like it's it's kind of missing that over Twitter. You know how your Twitter's personalized to like you know, they still just yeah. th- showing you a everything your followers people you don't follow and i just find myself being on there not a lot but yeah. what about you you on there yeah my name Jack. Uh, oh yeah actually i, I really saw post nothing yeah but... you just lurking no nah, i'm not even lurking like it's, it's it's like you said like the way they curate their content is just kind of like it's, it's kind of weird right now i'm just seeing yeah. things i don't really care about you know, and like Twitter, you know, all my shit's like it's yeah. basically Twitter, bro, which is crazy. <laughs> like, yeah, but Twitter's so much like the algorithm on there is way more streamlined. So like, yeah, it's tailor made for what I'm into and shit like that. And speaking of Twitter, bro, they they have like the ad share revenue shit like active. Mm. So like, yeah, people that are on Twitter that get like hell engagement, like they get paid off their tweets now, literally. Yeah. So, so like um. Yeah, that's another incentive for like more people to stay on Twitter. You know what I mean? So right, yeah, niggas getting paid, throw a check on their hoe. Like, oh, we staying, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's that's Bring the thing about it. Some get chair quick. That's that's the thing about uh just Twitter and all this stuff in general is that like uh I don't know. I th- I feel like Threads was a beta. Like I feel like it it probably needed some more time to cook so that it could have basic features like ads. Like hashtags, like mm-hmm. you know, all this stuff that Twitter already has a curation algorithm. But I feel like they wanted to capitalize off that news of Twitter putting the the limitations, and they just yeah. kind of released it when maybe they probably should have held on to it a little bit longer, like and released it when it had some more, you know, some more features, like basic features, like nigga, I can't even hashtag nothing, like. That's like a basic curation thing, like hashtag or like looking at a tag or something. Like, bro, like, how do y'all not have that? Like, so, yeah, Threads is definitely, even though it's released, it's in production. It's still kind of a beta in my mind. Yeah. If you get lit, I'll get on there more. Right. We'll see, bro. We'll see how it how uh quick they can roll out the updates. They're gonna be hella fun. I'm not on that bit. Yeah, I really just hopped on that junk just to like scoop up my name. Like, yeah, same. that's that's really it. Scoop up your name. What you mean? Yeah, your like your, you know, your username. Somebody could take that junk. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you know, want to uh, be the OG. Like, oh. Uh, yeah. You know, it's integrated within like IG, not within IG, but like to your IG. Mm-hmm. So like, if you like your IG username, like you'd have to like verify it real quick so you could keep it on Threads. Or else right, take it. bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That fucking, I forget the the other Malachinesis. I think he's like a visual designer or something, bro. That nigga <laughs> scooped up his shit so fucking fast. I can't beat this nigga, bro. I'm so mad. I'm always gonna be Malachinesis underscore, bro. But Damn. my only my only hope is getting verified before that nigga, bro, right. so that I can like just take that junk. <laughs> You probably laughing at this shit like ah, ah. <laughs> bro. I'm so fucking mad, bro. I got the SEO on. Find some other shit. I got the the search engine on lock though, bro. You type in Malachinesis on fucking uh yeah. all my shit pop up, so but you like watch that man now, huh? Oh, uh, I watched him out on everything else <laughs> yeah, except, you know, but he got the username. It. Yes, bro. Like, come on, bro. Let me have that hoe, bro. Man got real beef with the OG Malikani. I'm mad, bro. How the fuck you even think of some shit like that, nigga? Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, how did y'all hell nah? Uh... Probably got the same name, bro. Yeah, he probably used Malachi for sure. That's the only way. He has to be a Malachi. Like, there's no way he thought of just Malikinesis and his name not Malachi, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way, his bro. His name is Matthew. <laughs> Hell no, nah, nigga. <laughs> nah, I got smoke, bro. I'm personally had to find that nigga. His name Matthew, bro. I'm trying to think of the name of him. I can't. Nah, it's hard. Ain't no Mallory. way, bro. Nah, it ain't gonna be Mallory. Ain't no way. Friends. I don't know. Nah, we ain't gonna do 
Nah. <laughs> All right, man. You I'm not wild, gonna man. put that on him. You wild, know, guy. Nigga. Ah, man. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to um Travis Scott, man. He's gonna perform at the Egypt concert. They're doing a little lit. Y'all seen the the pyramid? He's supposed to. Yeah, <laughs> the little light pyramid with the yeah. pyramids. That's that shit look crazy, bro. Some, I mean, some utopia shit there. Yeah. And hopefully, you know, there's a lot of space in the fucking desert. So ain't no, you know, Travis Astro World Part 2, you know what I'm saying? So, right, right, right. but it is going to be, I don't know, like, what time the concert is, if it's at night or during the day. But, like, I hope if it's at night, niggas is bringing hella clothes and uh, hoodies and jackets because it's going to be cold as fuck. Or if it's during the day, niggas is ready because it's going to be <laughs> hot as a motherfucker, bro. It have to be at night. Yeah, yeah. Probably, they all probably I would go to a concert in the desert. Uh, but I, I mean, I just got to mention, you know, that that boy Russ did it first, you know. <laughs> right, the Egypt performance. Come on, man. He, he did the Egypt pyramid first, man. Yeah, he did. He did. You know, it was lit. He had a good time. He, the the pictures were nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all. That's all. That's all. Yeah, no, that's, that's nice, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Egypt is uh. I've always wanted to go to like Egypt, but like I don't know, bro. Just some of the the videos of the political unrest there, or just being an outsider in Egypt, just doesn't sound like mm-hmm. pleasant. What's going on out there? I mean, there was yeah. a period of time where like they was just you know they they there was a lot of assassination. Let me look it up, uh, so I can double check my slaying things. The no, they were just like, a, like you know, when my thing is, if a leader, if a country keeps, doesn't have, uh, yeah, like the president of Egypt was, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, this is, uh, no, this is an assassinated fool. Yeah, they dropping in bombs. But like they be having a lot of like political unrest there, bro. But maybe you know. Yeah. Probably I could have sworn I'm going to go to the pyramids and that's it. Yeah, for sure. Might for sure, for sure. Based thing. Yeah, I just remember seeing some videos. Maybe it was within the last decade, but that shit looked kind of scary, bro. I'm not going to lie. Um, and then I remember also saw some shit. <laughs> I think it was in Cairo. Um, or not Cairo, but is that is that Egypt, bro? Cairo? Yeah, uh, that's the capital of Egypt. But it was some niggas, some niggas on the. Uh, it was basically the slum, like the basically the the slums of Egypt, like yeah. Cairo. And there's a YouTuber out there, bro. And that nigga definitely uh, was in the wrong place, bro. Like that nigga was some niggas kind of popped out, and they was you know, run your pockets, nigga. Like run oh. everything, nigga. The camera. It was every. I don't think it was a live stream, but like them niggas took. Them niggas is look. I imagine if you go to countries that aren't as not saying that is, Egypt is pretty developed and it's pretty pretty, but like it, obviously it's not like a America, a UK. It's not you know that as developed as us. You know the niggas that's really struggling over there is different from going to the hood here. Them niggas is real demons over there, nigga. Like them niggas real deal trying to eat. So Sleeping yeah, on the street, bro. Right. But anyway, shout out Egypt, shout out Cairo. Egypt. You know what I'm saying? Shout out all everybody over there. You know, I'm trying to shout out to that camel that had to uh that had to carry all that weight from Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying, bro? Damn. That man was making yeah, all man, types man. of crazy ass yeah, noises, bro. I'm gonna show you all that video after the That's time. crazy, fool. I didn't see <laughs> that. <laughs> that camel just gave up. Rick Ross got there. Wasn't he losing weight, fool? Like, what happened? He has lost some weight. He's just still big. He's still big, fool? Still, like, you know what I'm saying? On, bro. Shout out yeah, all this time, bro. How rich are you, bro? And you can't get fit, fool. Hey, he ain't trying to get fit. You know, living his life, man. Big head, head nigga, thing, bro. Right? Like eat healthy and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. You know, you got everybody got their vices. Yep. All you can do is try. Speaking of Egypt and the aliens, things that were built by the aliens. Uh, you know, ports of a UFO recovered by the U.S. Says that it can distort space and time. 
I already know how I believe what? about the alien technology, bro, and the UFO. What? The, the, they say that the, the, the government the, confirmed it? No, the, the, well, I don't know if it's the government yeah, or the UFO. The guy who is, like, she's sort of like a whistleblower type thing. His identity isn't known mm. yet, but, like, he's basically come out and said that, you know, and, you know, take a grain with a grain of salt, you know, a lot of shit like this. All the alien mean, stuff. You know, but... He says the U.S. have recovered a UFO that can distort space and time. For example, like if you get if you look at their shit from the outside, like it might be as big as like you know a regular plane or some shit like that. But it, once you go inside, it's as big as like a football field. That's what he said. <laughs> oh no, yeah. that's, that's wild, said. nigga. Yeah. That is kind of wild. This nigga gotta be lying. But I believe, I believe it, bro. If it's, I'm not gonna say if it's. I believe that if the aliens are more technologically advanced than us, that they probably do got some shit like that. Like they, they probably have lying, cracked man. the the secrets of the fucking universe, nigga. Like, yeah, we got a giant a spaceship that looked like this, nigga. But you you put your finger in that motherfucker and you. In the football stadium that's now, that's some literally that's literally some shit you see in movies, bro. Ain't no way. Or even like the whole thing with the um, like the reason people say that you can't capture the aliens on footage is because they got like basically you can't even record them niggas. Like they got the EMP. Like you, that's they, crazy, they just dog. they just censored when you point a camera at them, nigga. Like right. I don't know, but. We'll see, bro. I don't know. I still believe that, you know, we aren't the only intelligent beings in this universe. I was trying to see them niggas, bro. What they hiding for, bro? Like, <laughs> niggas some pussy hiding? food. <laughs> pussy <laughs> aliens, bro. Show y'all niggas. Pop out, man. Let's go y'all around, bro. Late at night, bro. <laughs> right. Let me look up at this guy. They, apparently, they like Vegas, bro. Nah, nah. They Where like Vegas. Speaking of which, bro, speaking of Vegas, did y'all What's see up? the, uh, the fucking they built, they finally finished the development of the world's largest mm-hmm. sphere, bro. Mm-hmm. That should look kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie mm-hmm. to you. World largest sphere. Yeah, so it's uh basically it's this big wow. ass sphere that's like LCD. It's basically LCD screens or like OLED display screens, and they basically can have it like transform into like the, a globe or yeah. like a big ass eyeball or. They have like visual shows. It costs like two billion dollars to make. Um, but that shit looks crazy. Like yeah. I was looking at a video, they had it turned to a big ass eyeball. I just imagine like if I was in Vegas and I was high as fuck and I saw that yeah, shit, I'd probably and I seen that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Man. I would be like, bro, what the fuck? Big ass fucking eyeball, nigga. Crazy thing about that though is that so, like, um, a lot of the people around who does this help? I mean, it's Vegas. It's for sure. It's, it's Two just, billion dollars for like, who is this? Vegas is just like yeah, that. Vegas is, showy, bro. That's what yeah. Like, like whose idea was like? It's to put on events. It's, like, it's for like sporting events. Like, uh, you know, so all sorts a t- of shit. Oh, uh, it is exciting. like a TV. Yeah, it's like a big ass. It's literally a bunch of displays, like molded into a fucking. Sphere, I'm trying right? to figure out like what. The return on investment is because ain't no way you getting all two billion back, bro. It's Vegas. <laughs> this is gonna be a casino. You can get that yeah. hell back in a month, nigga. Like nigga, in a month, they... like two billion. Bro, yes, definitely gonna come back, bro. Bro, uh, that bro, money bro. is right, right. But it costs like they're having, they're putting on shows like at hotels where you can have a good view of it. The shows are like literally like two hundred and fifty bucks. For like to for an hour just to look at that like for a show or something like bruh, trust me wow, Vegas is gonna make they two billion back. That's a fact. Two billion man. These are the, this is the same city that signed up. Don't even form- need that much money, bro. Like, why are you doing this? Who, who is trying to control the world, bro? Like, we need to stop these niggas, bro. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Bro, like, you, you have way too much money if you could just spend two billion on a project to get more money. You play. Yeah. You play. Uh, You've played Fallout New Vegas, bro. You know how these niggas that own these, these casinos are, bro. Greed personified. You seen, God, you've seen damn. Caesar's camp, bro. You've seen that shit, bro. They, they got a fucking Caesar's Palace is a real thing in Vegas, bro. That shit and hey, it's bro, I might have to 
Bro, I'm for real. Like, I if you go become Batman or quick food and stop these yeah. niggas, like, <laughs> nah. Robin Hood or something yeah, like Vegas would be the perfect city for Batman to perform. <laughs> yeah. If anything's going down in, if, if there's any Gotham, it's definitely that'd be a that's city. a perfect setting for like a black Batman, bro. Vegas, there's no has there ever been a black Batman? No, I don't, bro. I don't think there has, bro. I don't think there has been a, like an Elseworld black Batman. I don't think it's canon or anything, but you know, it's like a. I'm gonna try like a different universe. Shout out Batman, bro. Hold up, I'm about to do a quick little. Yeah, it says this is back in. Oh yeah, this is just an estimate, right? But it says the average casino in Vegas in 2018 earns about 1.9 million a day. And monthly, they said the strip, the Vegas strip generates about, hold up, 382 million a month, bruh, for the Vegas strip. So these niggas... We need to to go ahead and figure out who's trying to take over the world, bruh. So two billion... Two billion for a sphere is nothing. We to got niggas. Do, we got niggas out here sleeping on the street, food. We got niggas in Vegas. <laughs> but there's a lot of that. There's million. a lot of that in Vegas because niggas is literally going to Vegas and gambling away their life savings, like yeah, everything they own. Yeah, niggas, niggas doing that probably just gonna do it again anyway. Right, Vegas literally preys on your your vices, bro. If you have yeah. if weed, alcohol. Females and gambling, nigga. If if you the more of those vices you have, the more money you gonna lose when you go to Vegas, nigga. Like, yeah. and there's plenty of niggas that have crashed out on all investing in all four of those things, and then you wake up, and these are the niggas that you see. That's like, I literally saw a nigga on the side the side of the street, same place in Vegas, bro. That's like need money for hookers and blow. Like that man was on the same what? spot every day with that sign. Like, hey, bro. What? He was. That he, is nuts. he didn't even lie about it, bro. He he literally yeah, was like, bro, I, I need Why a few he... hookers and blow, bro. Damn, fool. Yeah. Nigga Niggas was actually up, giving dude. him money too, like. Bro. Nigga. I feel you, bro. He he literally gave up on life, fool. Like that's what you do, bro. Like, bro. That's I mean, crazy. I mean, there's there's some people I imagine have some really sad stories gambling away all their shit, bro. Yeah, for sure. But you know, it is like, what this it is the life for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just stand with a fucking on a corner with a yeah, sign. All greens, bro, got liquor in it. Last yeah, liquor. and it's twenty four twenty four hours, bro. Twenty four hours a day. Walgreens is open. Everywhere sells liquor. Everywhere got slot machines. There's slot machines in the gas station, fool. There's literally bitches running around half naked with thongs and pasties on everywhere you fucking go. Like dispensaries on every corner. Yes, dispensaries everywhere. Like it is a casinos on every block. If you ever wanted to work, like if you ever wonder what it's like being inside a GTA game, bro, go to Vegas. Vegas. You literally gonna see crazy niggas. Like you gonna see niggas vomiting, throwing up. Niggas on some, having nigga. some some wild. Oh, I was wondering what you were smacking with your back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the Vegas is crazy, bro. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta. You should sometime. take a trip, bro. Just don't, don't, uh, don't fall right, into. I'm gonna the... do. I'm gonna do it before I die, fool, so I can crash out. Nah, don't get, don't get, don't get sucked in, bro. Yeah, be like 80 years old. Know you finna go soon. Like you know what. Let me go ahead and just blow my. Let me go ahead and blow my fortune real quick. Look now. Um, but anything else you're trying to get into, bro? No, I'm good, man. How y'all feel? Y'all straight? I'm feeling good. You know, I feel like the pod is a a slow news week, so we had to, you know, we had to cook a little bit. But hopefully, y'all enjoyed the meal. Shout out, grandma. Shout out, grandma, bro. My grandma. Yeah, yeah, bro. Shout out, grandma. <laughs> All right, man. Shout out to y'all. We'll see y'all next week on episode 21. Shout out to Guillermo. Shout out to the fans. Shout out to everybody commenting. Shout out to everybody tuning in with the social medias and, you know, everything in between. So we out. Right. Peace out, guys. <laughs>